Hey YouTubers, how you guys doing? Happy holidays. I just want to bring you guys this video of my little guy Aoki. And I wanted to uh I wanted to give my input on why I don't have fake plants or live plants or grass inside my enclosure. You gotta forgive my enclosure right now. It's it's winter. I live in California. And my little guy Aoki, he's digging everywhere and making a mess and and it's just a mess in here right now, so sorry about that. But anyways, I just want to let you guys know why I don't have uh, fake plants and um, live things in my enclosure. Um, the reason for that, you know, I, I see on a lot of videos on YouTube. I see a lot of videos on YouTube. Um, people have like two-story enclosures in their, you know, in their house. Obviously, it's in their house. They have two-story enclosures. They have ramps with carpet. Um, they have... In some areas, they won't even have any type of substrate, you know. They won't have no type of substrate. They'll just have carpet and, like, a few rocks. They'll have a, a fake plastic cactus plant or a fake little tiny palm tree in the corner. You know, it looks nice to the human eye. You know, we see little fake palm trees everywhere. It looks appealing. But one thing I like to keep in, in, in mind when it comes to owning a tortoise and if you're going to house it in an indoor enclosure... Is the fact that you want your tortoise to feel as comfortable as possible. Now, and and also some people might say, well, don't you want it to look as natural as possible? Well, uh, again, you do want that, but fake plants ain't the way to go. You know, it, it could pose a lot of threats and it could make your tortoise feel uncomfortable. So I think the proper way to go is just to make your enclosure as comfortable as possible for your little guy. And um, to me, the reason why I wouldn't use these fake plants is because, you know, they're painted. You don't know what they're coated with. And your tortoise is going to see a little fake aloe vera plant or he's going to see a fake little palm tree with the nice leaves, all plastic. He's going to go try to bite it. You don't know if he might chip off some of that paint with his beak. You don't know what chemicals are going into your tortoise if he tries that. And you don't want, um, you don't want your tortoise to get sick, basically. You know, so why risk it just for people to come and visit your house? Oh, look at your tortoise enclosure. That looks really nice. You know, pe people don't people don't understand your tortoise. When you own a tortoise, his care comes first. It's not all, all about the way he looks. It it ain't about it ain't about um uh, how nice his enclosure is looking. It's about how comfortable he could get. Look at my little guy right now. So casually, he just walks into his little hide. And he's trying to burrow. You know, you want it comfortable as possible. That's why I don't have a uh, carpet. Like, you know, they have repti carpet. I don't have that in my enclosure going up ramps. I see some people have little white picket fences going on the side of the ramps. No, no. I just keep it as natural as possible. Enough with all this, you know, these fake plants and fake trees. If anything, throw a handful of rocks, river rocks in your enclosure. You know, that's natural. Your tortoise sees that uh, when he's outside. You know, especially wild-caught tortoises, they see that a lot outside. Little pebbles they climb on. You know, stuff like that. Get them half, half um, logs. You know, things for him to climb on. And uh, your tortoise will feel real comfortable. And the reason why I don't have... The reason why I don't have a... Uh, like live things in here like grass you know like this area it's kind of barren right now it's not even that deep you can actually see the the wood right here it's because my tortoise during the winter he he only goes to where the heat's at and i have it over here and um he'll stay on on this half of his enclosure that you see and this other half he won't even bother with in the winter <coughs> excuse me you know in the summer he's all over here i got dirt piled high he's burrowing he he's climbing He's doing everything in the summer. But anyways, back to my point. Some people have half their enclosure filled with grass and they'll have live plants growing out of it. That's nice and all. Don't get me wrong. That's nice and all. But my question to you, are you willing to let your tortoise get sick? And you say, well, how is your tortoise going to get sick? Well, if you have an indoor enclosure, you got to remember your tortoise, his immune system is adapted to inside. So now if you, you come inside and you bring some uh, live grass and you, you plant it, you know, you water it every day, it's going to be damped. It's going to start getting humid for your tortoise. And Russian tortoises don't like humidity. You know, they're not tropical. A little humidity is okay, but in order to keep some grass going, you got to keep it watered. 
And then you got to factor in, let me get this guy out of here. And then you got to factor in, you got to factor in that wetting the grass constantly, he's probably a little bothered because I'm right, hovering right over him. And you, you got to remember watering that grass and, and you know, you know what that's going to bring? That's going to bring gnats. Now, do you want gnats in your enclosure? Do you want gnats to be bothering your tortoise? You know, what are gnats going to bring? They're going to bring parasites to your tortoise. Like I said, now, if it was an outdoor enclosure, feel free to plant anything, you know, because your tortoise will be adapted to the outside temperatures, to the environment. Your tortoise is adapted to the indoors, you know. Take, for instance, your bed. Do you have patches of grass on your bed? That would just be weird, right? You live indoors. You're not going to have those things. You know, so so I, I say out with the planting live things inside your enclosure. It's just going to, too risky, you know, too risky. It's just too risky. Your tortoise is going to get sick and he has to live there. There's no taking it out unless you just decide to rip it out. There, If it's there, it's there and too risky. You don't want parasites flying all over your tortoise's poop. Or I know you got a spot clean. You can't get it all sometimes. You don't want the parasites to be getting on your tortoise when he's sleeping or the gnats, you know. That's why I don't have live grass or live plants. And then if you have like a little baby potted aloe vera plant, your tortoise will knock it over. Over and over again, he'll go to it, he'll climb on it, he'll knock it over. He's just going to eat it. It's going to be gone within a day or two. Same thing with cactus. So, you know, I suggest no having live things in your enclosure. Just keep it comfortable for your little guy. You know, keep it simple. And he'll love it. He'll thrive. Now, what you can do, which I highly recommend and I suggest, I can't stress this more, you should have an outdoor setup for your tortoise for the summer. And the winter, my, my little guy, he's mostly indoors. But for the winter, he's outside, you know. But I make sure wherever I decide to build my outdoor enclosure, you got to make sure that you clear the area. You know, you rake it. You get everything out the way. Make sure there's no ants under the ground. If anything, dig up the dirt. If you got hard pan dirt, dig it up. Make it nice and soft for your little guy for he could burrow. Make sure there's no ant larvae underneath the, the soil. This is for outside, you know. And, uh, get some big bricks because tortoises, they will climb under your fence. They will, they will get lost, especially if you have a little Russian. So I, I suggest... Get some bricks, make a nice enclosure. And I have a video on my uh, on my channel. I've made a little outdoor enclosure, simple little thing, and your tortoise will love it. He'll get natural sunlight, and I let the weeds grow in there. He'll eat them down, and um, he loves it. Other than that, those are the reasons why I don't have live plants or fake plants in my enclosure. Just too much of a risk for me, and I, I you know, I love my little guy, and I wouldn't take that risk. And um, yeah, so. Th that's my input. I hope you guys like this video. Please like, subscribe. If you have any recommendations on what video you'd like to see next about tortoises, about anything in general, just let me know in the comment section and, you know, maybe I'll make a video about it. So until then, hope you guys like it. Happy holidays. Me and Ayoki are out.